I'm Amy Yu. I am a biomedical engineer. I graduated with my Master of Biomedical Engineering from the University of Melbourne in 2018. And that led me to my current role, which is a co-founder and CTO at Ventura Medical, a medical technology startup on a mission to help premature babies breathe. The problem that we are addressing is one in neonatal respiratory care. A lot of premature babies will need some additional breathing support. In current non-invasive breathing support methods, there is uncertainty as to how much support these babies are receiving. Our solution to this problem is an airway pressure monitor that can continuously monitor the amount of pressure that is being delivered to the airways of these babies. So Ventura actually spun out of my studies. As part of my final year, I had the opportunity to do this course called Biodesign Innovation. And it brings together biomedical engineering students and also MBA students from the business school. So you have these multidisciplinary teams and the whole idea is that you go out into hospitals and you speak to nurses and clinicians and you understand pain points or problems that they face day to day. The Master of Biomedical Engineering provided our foundational understanding of what the medical device development process looks like. I also think that the course really emphasises the importance of soft skills. I developed my communication skills, my teamwork skills, project management. Ventura Medical has and continues to be really well supported by the University of Melbourne. We currently co-work out of the Melbourne Entrepreneurial Centre at the Melbourne Connect building on Swanston Street and we give back to the entrepreneurial community as well. The university has been the real foundational step that Ventura uh, had to take to be able to grow into the business that it is today. Without the university, without the Biodesign Innovation Program, uh, we may never have discovered the needs that exist in neonatal care and wouldn't be doing what we are doing today. It feels amazing to be able to potentially make a real world impact. A lot of research does get left on the shelf and there is a gap in the translation of research into practice to make an impact. And so when we're in the neonatal intensive care unit at the bedside and we can see our prototype device next to the bed being used on a patient, we're able to envision how this will be used in the future in clinical practice and improve the care for these patients.